boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Got some serious voodoo going on here tonight. What are we waiting? Because it always takes me a few minutes to get rolling. I just want to play this clip before I unplug shit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that didn't sound very good, did it? Hang on. So this is uh, Donna Bushy. She was one of the top dogs at Hanford Nuclear Waste Site. Right? Don't forget Hanford. 450 billion gallons dumped in the soil. Don't forget Hanford. They're going to talk about barrels, uh, drums, or tanks. Blah. Anyway, this video came out yesterday, and I want you to hear it. It's just a short clip. Out so we can safely treat the waste. And how uh, big? The, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, when, when you talk about a detonation, how She got fired a couple weeks ago. What are you talking about? Oh, it, it would be a detonation in the vessels in our pretreatment facility that would impact um, portions of 160,000 gallons of that waste. And if you saw the videos of Fukushima, that was a hydrogen detonation, basically <laughs> with the, the the fuel interacting with water. So it's a very it's a hydrogen reaction, and it's quite um, significant. Yeah, I know some uh, protesters have called him that it could conceivably become America's Fukushima. Now, you were a key employee of this company, and on February 18th, the executives called you in, and they said you were being fired for unprofessional conduct? Yes. She, was, she wasn't playing ball with the uh, ball players. Pretty despicable, anyway. Because it's such a it's such a threat to everybody. Don't get me wrong, we're getting over to New Mexico. New Mexico had, like, a couple of hundred mile plume of bananas right from news channel 4 you can see the graph on my last couple of pictures you'll see links below in my last couple of videos you can go watch the, the presentation from news channel 4 itself and you'll right on their site and you'll see this dispersal model they got there for new mexico and it's headed towards oklahoma it's almost to oklahoma a couple hundred kilometers to, that's what their air dispersal so why and go ahead and show me another map from mainstream media with an aerosol dispersal model of radioactive particles coming from a nuclear uh, accident. Go ahead and show me that footage. Put it below. I need to see it. I want to see more bananas. Because that one's got two bananas in it. I got some really good stuff for you tonight. And you know, like, no matter what time I do the show, uh, day, night, no matter what time I would pick, there's always somebody ready to go to bed, right? And there's always somebody who's going to be too busy to watch it right then. But you got to watch what you're saying because you don't want to influence the people that are coming to watch the video, right? Don't do that because that influences people and it's important that people hear this information. And that's the whole point of the live stream and all the energy, all the time and all the effort that are put into it is to have that moment right and a lot of people are war you know I've watched a lot of my videos and are, are kind of desensitized that that part of it and it's during the conversations all the time but you got to remember these videos are for the people that are worried sick don't know any better are out here searching and come across this and we can we can help set things right and uh, while we're doing that, let's talk about that. Let's get to work on that. Let's come in and check the audio. Let's blah, blah, blah. I got some good stuff I typed up for you today. I got a dozy. And I was going to do the audio. I got all the pictures I already downloaded and resized to make the video. I got everything typed too. And I was like, oh, I don't want to sit there and do the audio. And so what I decided to do was I'll do the audio right here for a couple of minutes and I'll chop it out and do a short video and put it out for everybody tomorrow. I'm not berating anybody for not being able to stay up and watch the show. I'm just saying, well, i got to watch what you're saying and you don't want to influence the people that are coming here. And I, this has been going on since I started streaming. And I, I just never ever, I didn't like saying that to anybody, but I realized there is a, it's important what we're doing here that people are able to get another narrative than the one I'm going to show you right now. You would get more radiation, is the title of this little doozy. 
And just before we do that, make sure I got everything streaming here because I'm going to be talking to thin air. Google loves doing that to me when I don't check. So hang on a second. I'll come over to the to the video. Make sure I'm streaming. My computer is running a little hot because I'm just it's nonstop. What do I do? Hang on a second. I just never ever, I didn't like saying that to anybody, but I really... Yeah, looks good. <laughs> I'll come and say hi to everybody once I get rolling for 10 or 15 minutes. Because I want to get this out there. Here we go. Let me see if I get this straight. You would get more radiation if you were closer to man-made radioactive contaminated areas and you would get less if you were further away. It's pretty pretty clever. That's what the experts are telling us. That's brilliant. Did you really need a university education to work that out? Hey, and they also like, they probably need a university education for this part, but you would get, this is what the nuclear PR people would say, right? So this is what we're going on, what we hear in all the media, what all the experts say on TV, and all the lectures, at all the institutions uh, around the planet. This is, this is what they, I got it all here in, in a paragraph, or it's actually a whole sentence. Let me, let me see. Here we go. You would get more radiation if you were on a plane with a smoke detector at 50,000 feet getting a CAT scan and a dental x-ray drinking a glass of water with 9,000 becquerels potassium-40 in it and a bad tub of ocean water with natural uranium-238 and rocks release, releasing natural uranium-238 and other rocks with natural radon in them with the plane curtains up eating a banana than you would if you were standing in the middle of any spot where man-made radioactive fallout occurred. And even less if you're on a space station than you would get if you stood in the middle of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. And if you do, if you do get radiation fallout, all you have to do is smile. <laughs> Did I get that right? Because it sounds freaking complicated. <laughs> but I did manage to find this thing called the internet and oh you know I decided to check out all of that and it turned out none of that has anything to do with radioactive fallout go figure huh because it's all natural insignificant normal background radiation I got a banana fuck a banana Fuck a banana. That's my newest saying now lately. Everybody's laughing at me around here because I'm always fuck a banana. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Fuck a banana, man. <laughs> Twist the world we live in. Where the hell did I come from? Your body regulates potassium-40 like a thermostat. It's homeostasis. Look it up. Uh, H-O-M-E-O-S-T-A-S-I-S. -S. Look it up. And I never found any natural or man-made potassium-40 dispersal models. If you know of any, for Christ's sake, send them to me. Because they're probably worth a good dollar now. Um, and, you know, with Google and Yahoo or Bing searches. I never found any, any potassium-40 death plumes. Because potassium-40 is insignificant. It's got nothing to do with anything. It's got nothing to do with anything. Why is it into these conversations? But you'd get more radiation if you were on a plane that had flown through the jet streams from Fukushima uh, regularly over the last three years because it's accumulative inside the plane, as the wonderful rad chick Christina Consolo, and you'll find a link below to her video, has sourced out, right? That's why all the superstars and celebrities and football players and there's all kinds of people out there and when you look back at the records of the, of the common of how many of these people would average uh, seizures and heart attacks and and, uh, and uh, fainting episodes on planes before pre uh, 311 because Christina Consolo done all the work and that is brilliant it's an absolute masterpiece what she got put there folks make no mistake about it unimaginable amount of energy and time to 
to bring that together and have a lucid so and so eloquently put over an hour and a half. Now, if you're on that plane with a smoke detector, you, you why would you care about the smoke detector with the radon into it or an americium 241 into it? Because it's got nothing to do with the equation, right? There's real americium out there. There's real issue was the mines that this all started over uh, in New Mexico, Carlsbad, you got to realize they had a truck fire, right? And nobody would go back down there because of the truck fire. Now, I don't know about you, but I see truck fires on TVs all the time, and uh, people run up and put the fire out. And so they were hiding something, weren't they? And just let me digress for a second, go back to how I started this video tonight. Uh, with a whistleblower who was fired two weeks ago from Hanford. And she was talking about, and this, this came out yesterday, you find it on Mox News channel there if you go back uh, 15 or 20 videos. But there's three other videos out there from Mox News, I'll touch on them in a second for you. About uh, Savannah, three billion over budget. And Hanford. But she's talking about the tanks at Hanford, because the tanks are leaking, right? She doesn't mention it in the video, but that's what she's actually referring to, is that is the, if the tanks are leaking, right, and the level comes down, this stuff will go into a chain, the sludge on the bottom, right, all the americium, plutonium, neptunium, all the uranium-238 to 234, 235 left over from the chain reaction from the spent fuel rods, that are still off gassing for many moons, you know, <laughs> CCMs and Destrantiums and uh, iodines, not to mention the iodine-129 is prevalent right now in America because of you know, just all the waste, right? Not just Fukushima, but, you know, let me let me go over and touch on how bad it was from Fukushima for the Americans. There was a controversy on March the 6th, 2012, after U.S. government estimates showed 40,000 microsiever doses, thyroid doses for California infants were from Fukushima, the data wasn't released to the public back then. Uh, this is a very high dose to children, right? Uh, but UC Berkeley was caught raising the limits of acceptable iodine 131, which there's no acceptable uh, limits, but raising what EPA, which grandfathered in. Uh, 65,000 chemicals when they were created in 1981. Well, well they were created in 79, but they hung their shingle out in 81. And they grandfathered in all the chemicals without no environmental human impact studies. So their word is pff, word dirt. Well, it's not word dirt because you can grow shit in dirt. Uh, UC Berkeley had overestimated 27 times the acceptable levels. There is no acceptable levels. See? Because you're, you're talking about putting... Uh, uh, Nuclear fission, chain reaction, radioactive, radioactive is completely different than potassium-40 isotopes from the chain reaction being acceptable levels in the babies uh, 27 times more than the EPA's hideous standard based upon a, f a fable of safe levels which is consistent only with potassium-40 got nothing to do with uh, everything else that is man-made. See, the man-made isotopes were, according to the licensing of the nuclear facilities, are not allowed to escape. Not a single one is acceptable. That's their agreement. They're going to put it in the sarcophagus. But the poles dry, boil off all the time. Those isotopes are usually blown out into the ocean and underground pipes. But lots of it will be released into the community. They can't let it build up there. You have a detonation. And they had detonations. And there was precedence for this in the 50s in Russia. When fuel tanks blew up and they lost a thousand miles, um, which is okay compared when you compare it to what happened ten years before, it, when they had to evacuate permanently 7,500 communities, and they got uh, 9,000 mile, square miles at that time, are still off limit, and 7,500 communities, because they have morals and they have ethics, right? Unlike the EPA or American uh, government uh, local dummies. All right, I gotta keep the lie alive, and I just told you to lie, right? I just told you to lie. You get more radiation you're on a plane with a smoke detector at 50,000 feet, getting a CAT scan and a dental X-ray, drinking a glass of water, 9,000 becquerels of potassium 40 in it. 
in a bathtub of ocean water with natural uranium-238, which has got nothing to do with this equation, and rocks rele releasing natural uranium-238, which has got nothing to do with this equation, and other rocks with natural radon, which has got nothing to do with this equation of e equals mc squared, in them with the plain curtains up. So the sun is coming in, you're getting more radiation, eating a banana. Well, if you eat a banana, you off-gas the same amount. When you eat absorbed 9,000 becquels in your drinking water, you off-gas 9,000 becquels. If it was 10,000, you off-gas 10,000, whatever. Put a shirt on, it's got a thousand, you off gas a thousand. There's only so much can accommodate, you know, because if it's in contact with your skin, right? <clears throat> you just off gas it, it's got nothing to do with it. That's why you are genetically superior to the other species before you because you can deal with, you know, that's why all the creatures on the planet exist is because they were mutated. But it's low-level, insignificant, normal, indigenous background radiation that has nothing to do with E equals MC squared. But for some reason, that is the conversation we're having tonight that I picked out. This is all their excuses in, in, in a couple of paragraphs. If you do get radiation fallout, and if you do get radiation fallout, all you have to do is smile, right? And so all of these excuses are well documented. This is what nuclear apologists, this is what they do. Right? So maybe those suicide pills they got in their mouths are radio controlled. And if they don't lie, they'll blow them up and they'll have a heart attack on stage. Probably fill up with CC and 137 goes right to your heart. Ah, I didn't mean it, boss. Of course, uh, when you run out of uses for them, they put them in dinkies and send them out to sea with no life jackets. Uh, eight times a year, old nuclear scientists, uh, well, apologists, all university professors and mainstream media pundits are put into ships, little tiny dinkies that look painted up to look like ships and sent out in storms while the young ones dance naked around fires as they drown. It's the culling of the nuclear... Lawyers, because they, they don't want anybody to get to They can't put them in old age homes because you could imagine some Alzheimer's nuclear lobbyists spewing the beans, right? That can't happen. And so they put them on ships and send them out to sea and party on shore like it's 1999. So rocks with natural radon, you know, how many people die a year of natural radon again? I forget. Anybody? Or a century? one was there one documented one where they actually built on it was all uranium but they needed the law to get out to us so he said it was radon that killed them because i don't want to scare them of you you know it could have been an habitable area so if you're in a bad tub of ocean water all day blah, 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 what's that got to do with anything what has it got to do with it i was a diver 14 years six hours a day on the ocean floor I don't remember seeing uh, any divers after big tumors off the side of their head or anything. Yeah, you know, that's the price you gotta pay for diving. A couple of big tumors off the side of your head because the ocean gives you cancer. It gives you, well, it does now, the Pacific Ocean. This Fukushima is built on 100 foot of topsoil. And 100 foot of topsoil, a lot of topsoil, right? There's a purpose to that. What happens when you spray water on topsoil anyway? Do you remember? And if you chew a bunch of big boulders on that and you sprayed water on it, what happens to those boulders? They start to sink down. But it's also the same for smaller stuff, right? If you got lots of water on it, it'll start sinking down. And that is the backup plan for a detonation on a nuclear plant, is it sinks down into all these topsoils. They're all like that. And they keep water on it and move it down. And then the water maintains in it you know, it's like controlling it in a pool, right? Storing it in a pool. They want it to go down and get compact, and they'll pave over it and pave over it a hundred times if they can to try to hide it. They'll call it natural radon if it shows up on a detector like off a of Sellafield, England, where there's 8,000 liters a day hemorrhaging into the ocean every day. Not like Fukushima's shit that's running over hot coriums and all the broken rods scattered all over the site and sunk down in the topsoil. Because you got to realize in Fukushima, there's a mountain behind it. And so there's an old riverbed. There was a riverbed there. 
they call it old because it had washed away all the soil down to the, the bedrock, right? And so the river was millenniums old. And so they fill it up with topsoil. <laughs> Perfect spot for a nuclear accident. Washes it all out to the sea. But it mixes with it. And it becomes radioactive as it goes over. So it's picking up, because of all these pieces, are creating all the isotopes. And so the site, the entire site creates isotopes, is the better way to look at it. And so they originally went in there after the tsunami with the big uh, mass of bulldozers and bulldozed over all the hot spots with more soil, see? And so they, they perpetually keep water on this site. It's perpetually wet. There's so many go, no-go zones down there. Uh, that's where they send the homeless. But I just want to make a few good points, and then I'll come over and say hi to a few people, and then I'll get back on track. Okay, I'll come over and say hi to people, and I'll get back on track. How about that? Because you know me, I can really get lost sometimes. Let me go. One more headline. Uh, UC Berkeley professor. No matter what happens in Fukushima, it's not going to be a problem over here. Because the jet streams don't exist. Right? Don't don't bring that into the conversation, because that really makes them feel stupid. Because the jet streams will bring it over at 100 miles an hour, 5,500 miles, 24 hours in a day, 2,400 <laughs> miles, three days later, four days later, it's over North America, everywhere in the jet streams, and it'll just disperse right over North America and rain out over North America. But because Carlsbad uh, had a serious accident there, that's what he tried, that's what they're talking about, bananas and... and bad tubs of water and blah, all that junk that we covered earlier, is because they, they need to get people to go away. This is why they're lying so much, because they should say, well, you know, there's a lot of radioactive stuff down there, so we get, you know, there's particles coming up into the filters, but the filters have never worked before. If they did, they would have them everywhere. This was a feel-good, uh, put your finger in the crack in the wall, boy, it splits. This is big dad, big dad Bob shit, right? Ah, there's no Americans here. <laughs> there's tanks right behind them. You can hear the firing in the background, the war. Ah, there's no freaking Americans around here. Well, down there, there was no Americans because they got a union and nobody went down in that hole, right? She's sending Allison McFarland down there. She's the one also who had said there was nothing... No models out there of the dispersal coming to, come to America. Well, just to set matters right, cesium and iodine boat at least 600% above the EPA maximum contamination levels in Hawaii milk. That was April 11, 2011. 600 times above maximum EPA. Well, their EPA maximum containment levels are for normal background radiation, not for radioactive isotopes. Right? The lies are constant because there's... Everybody's doing the different lies, so it's hard to figure out. But if you listen long enough, you hear them all repeat the same lie. If you go listen to one person long enough, he'll repeat the same lie over and over and over and over and over, right? So he can't... He's like the drunk who tells the same story over and over and over every time he gets a beer in his hand. 20,000 uh, study author says now 20,000 excess U.S. debts from Fukushima, not 14,000. 20,000. That was back January 19, 2012. That's important. Okay. Um, radioactivity at 300% to normal background Los Angeles uh, area dust. 350 counts a minute. This was Fukushima stuff that came across the ocean in about three days. The amount of radiation, three gallons of milk from uh, Hawaii, surpasses the annual maximum containment levels which are just indigenous, normal, insignificant background radiation. They're not talking about actual radioactive 134, 35 uh, uraniums. That was talking about cesium. There's 30, 30 times more strontium comes with cesium from that really, anywhere to where they're using weapons-grade plutonium from the old missiles, then you're dealing with about 30 times, apparently, more strontium-90, which goes, causes leukemia, goes right into the bones. Uh, cesium is going right into the heart, through the blood, and right into the muscles if it doesn't make it that far. And uh, the body attacks that right away, right? And so, New Mexico, Carlsbad, the, uh, Channel 4 showed a map, folks, that was 
and you can go back to my couple of videos you'll find the links I didn't have room below it tonight if I was going to type up you know I me mean? I like to type up shit just make shit up sometimes for a bit of fun put underneath the video just because it's so insane I'm usually pretty lucid but there's usually some like you, you kind of got to follow it to read the shit that I put under the video a lot of the times because you know it's like a, you know how a, cart, uh, a cartoon artist for media would drop a cartoon to kind of build a picture of what the article was about well I do a little paragraph usually below my videos that explain what my video or try to encompass my thoughts of a cartoon on, in my video of how, how absurd everything truly is and I didn't have room to put that whole spiel in there tonight. Let me get back on track. I wanted to come over and say hi to everybody before I've done anything else. Um, I didn't click control room, so I'll just open. While I'm waiting for that to load, I'll open up the video, turn the sound off, and say hi to everybody. So if you're going to say hi, say hi. I'm going to be watching for the next couple of minutes. I know I always say that to you, but tonight I'll do it to you. I'm on the video. There goes the audio. Hi, Double Hoop Nation, Kurt K, Patrick, and if you say hi, I'll say hi again. Pam, Amthurst 3, Double Hoop Nation, we're live streaming. The comments are to the left. We are live streaming. If they're below, the video is rendered and popped back up. Cats Alive, Ping, Ken Smith. Shoo! Yoo! I guess nobody's going to say hello to me. Oh, here we go. Catch Alive, Sergeant, Broken Ass Islander, Double Hoop, Aqua, Pam, Patrick, Marcus, Kurtz K, I'm waiting. I know it takes about 30 seconds for it to show up here. So I'll sit it out until everybody stops saying hi. Don't keep me here all night. <laughs> Don't try to too hard anyway. Uh, uh, Mickey, Marcus Kurtzer. If it's man-made, it'll hurt you or kill you. Right, it'll give you cancer. Uh, thank you, Ping. The tracking, fracking can blowtorch a kitchen sink. Uh, likely the same WIPP, right? Lunar says. Candace. Hi, Candace. 11, Bray 11. Hello, everyone. Dana. M. Thirst. Double Hoop says, good job, Dana. Thank you. Okay, that's all I'm getting tonight. Just a handful of people saying hi. I bet you if I try to move away, it'll all disappear. M. Paul, Missing Scry, Alex, Brian, Cap Rad, Sergeant, Marcus, Nip Killer, thank you. You took on Mr. Hemi, thank you. Bike update coming. You bet. Uh, bike update, um, four weeks has gone by. Um, and, and they started posting this video on my site where six months ago somebody had thrown acid in her face, right, from a camera at the scooter shop. So apparently they've been doing this to a lot of people. It's not funny, I know, it's terrible. But it turns out it was her kid on his skateboarding site, and I'm going to do a video about it later, had come over to my site and not put that part in there. You had to go find the article, and, you, and I was like, shit. Did somebody go down and do that? It like scared the shit out of me. But he was putting it everywhere and saying, if you like this guy, you'll love this video. And when you went over, it was her son's site. And I got everything screen captured and everything ready to go into a video. But talking about wicked people, sent me emails equating me having acid thrown in her face because I put out a video of how he ripped me off. Which is like, wow. Just blew me away. Then I found out um, that this had happened six months ago. The bizarrest, that's the, that's the most twistedest thing you can do to somebody. And they come up and post it on all my videos from their site where they post skateboard videos themselves with sponsors. So I collected their 100 sponsors. <laughs> I'll be using that in my new bike show. <laughs> Don't fucking come back and bug me anymore. Okay, let's move on. There's your bike update. Cats Alive, Ken Smith, thank you, Ken. Pam, John Townsend, thank you. Grandma Oldie, Magoli, thank you. Mickey, Kevin, 
Sylvia, <laughs> 11 11. Re Ram Amthurst. There you go. Oh, I have my key, my chummy over the keyboard. It'll start jumping at me now. Bubba. Alex. Woo. Carrie. Short. Yeah, mom. Carrie Musgrave wants something short. I don't know. Yeah, man. Hello, Dana and Zoe. Hi, Zoe. She's she's over there, belly up right now. Standing foot. Hi, standing foot. Here, you want to make a t-shirt? You go right ahead, folks. And uh, if, if you got the skills and you know and you can follow, you can get someone to help you make a little short 30-second video and put it out there. Brilliant. Put an advertisement in the paper and start selling them. Put an advertisement paper, give them away. You want to donate to me? Put an advertisement in the paper. And say free music <laughs> and the greatest latest news about Fukushima. The truth. Right, don't have to go over. Hi Pam. Sergeant thumbs up. Brian says Broken Ass Holler says uh great show Dana, thank you. Double shout out on Dana Live. What's up dog? You got three, Marcus. If you blow torch your kitchen sink. You don't have to do dishes. That's my Paul. I'm just going to say hi to a few more people. Make sure I get everybody. Ping Thesis, Gum Sucker. Um, oh, you were talking about the bike ping, I bet. I looked up Fuki Hounds and all I got was Fuki Dog that ate sushi. We're in business. <laughs> but it sounds like that. Re Ram. Ping Thesis, uh, Gum Suckers. Or in or else is more so called elite bullshit. Yeah. Amtor says it was a bizarre. Kevin says, hey, nothing wrong with skaters. No. They ain't doing anything to help them doing that routine. Just request me as a friend on Facebook and get you anyone else in the Fuga Hounds and the other. Well, you should go open. If you're going to do it on Facebook. Right? You got to go open. Can you go open? But yeah, I guess you can like people. I don't know. I don't know how to use Facebook. But you definitely need some of these. Um, you know, let me let me let me uh, let me touch on that. Um, yeah, let me figure that one out for a second. You can. Um, that's a better way to look at it, you know, because there's a lot of people posting it up on YouTube, and so we're we're doing uh, pretty darn good. Unbelievably good, unimaginably good, actually, on that routine, and we need more of that always, you know, for the good stuff. It'd be nice if uh, we can jam them up on other sites. I don't know what other sites you can jam them up, but if somebody's got free time and they got the videos downloaded already onto their desktop, um, they don't want to use Google or something like that. If there's people out there, yeah, that don't want to use say. YouTube, because YouTube, we got, we're doing, you know, we can always use them. We need a million supporters, don't get me wrong, but we do need to reach out into the other communities. So if you think some videos are particularly good, make, you can tell people that. Say, hey, this would be a good one to post out somewhere else, and maybe someone will pick up that and do it. I can't, I can't do enough. Um, I don't have enough time in each day to get things done. That's why I'm here tonight. I, I didn't have enough time today, but I'm still here. And so sometimes I'll show up late. Grr, roof, roof. Okay, go Dana, Kevin O'Kane, Ken Smith. Yeah, they did, Ken. Stetson, hi Stetson. Diver Dude, Michael C, Re Ram, Fuki Burger, Patrick, who was saying. Perfect Prince, woohoo, says. Knock, rock and roll, yeah. Yeah, 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 folks, you know, the only way we're going to get out there is if you guys push it out there, right? That's truly the, that's truly when this will take place for us. And I, I'm going to try to make things better by getting the studio up and running, getting all the software and all the equipment. I can go out and spend a million dollars on everything. It's freaking pointless if we don't get it out there, right? But I'll still do it. Like I've been doing for many years, right? Nothing's going to change. No matter how many views or how many thumbs down I ever got or didn't get, uh, that that didn't. That's not the influence. The influence was research, 
share it with people. And live streaming is good because you can really learn a lot about uh, things. Make sure I get everybody here before I give this part up. Irinarel, Ziegfried, uh, Patrick Kurtzer, let me keep reading names here. Radioactive Banana. Hi, XCL year 805 cats live uh, there you go this thing is going hot because I got two videos open here I'm gonna close them yeah I have a website up and running I'll have a dot com an official site um, I'm not sure what that's gonna be all about thanks ram aqua one two three Kevin Keller yeah Irina Rell Mr. Hemi you're, you're welcome you're welcome Kevin Thank you, folks. Uh, Piano to Precious. Now, uh, Thomas was saying you're you're quite the clever artist. I'm gonna put, open up your page here because I haven't been over there. You got to realize how busy I am, folks. So I apologize, but I do get to everybody. Make no mistake about it. I'm not judging anybody. Like I get taken up uh, with the trolls a lot. Because I got 900 plus videos, so I'm getting hammered all the time. I'm off topic, I know. Two hour show, Dana. <laughs> you don't know, man. You don't know. You might, I might just do that. Yes, yeah, censored on Facebook. Piano. Uh, let's hang on a second. Whimsical XK. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. And uh, piano too precious got me up on the page playing. That's what happened. I open up your page. Let me get rid of this page. And I'll catch all of that after. It was too much for my little computer here. I'll put this away here in a second. Okay. Uh, there you go. I'll make sure I'll come over after and check out some of your music. Uh, let me get back on track here. I uh, almost got off track 36 minutes in. So I just spent extra time saying hi to everybody. And because I should do that more often. I always try to do a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, see if I can catch, try to catch everybody. But my computer starts getting real cranky when I got the video up. And that reminds me, if I come in here, I might actually get a few more names out. Alex Smith. Stetson, yeah, we got everybody so far, so I'll leave that, I'm off track, okay, here we go, I got it, moxnews.com, if you go look up the video, some protesters have called Hanford America Fukushima, download that one, re-upload it, that's a really important one, huge, that's huge, trust me, you go watch it, you'll see. Um, and he put up two 30 second videos more workers expected to test positive for radiation exposure after leak at New Mexico nuclear waste site gee you don't say um, and one more hang on taxpayers on the hook for Savannah River nuclear site which is three billion dollar over budget Look up that headline or go over to Mac's site and just start perusing through his videos for nuclear stuff. You'll find those. There's another one there, uh, 23 seconds long, growing concern of Washington State Hanford nuclear waste storage site. Now, Mox is posting everything from f that Fox News puts out that's controversial or CNN that's controversial. He's there with the DVD. Uh, recorder and he's grabbing it and sticking it back up on YouTube. And this is what he does. For many many years, <clears throat> and so he had posted a bunch of them. Okay. Um, now you got to realize, at New Mexico, you're in a tunnel. If you have a breach, that's the end of it. You can't get back in because it's a tunnel, right? Get it? Pretty straightforward. Not like you're outdoors and you can go up wind and come down, 
right? You can't get upwind in a tunnel. <laughs> you are upwind in the tunnel. As soon as you walk in the middle of it, you're upwind in the tunnel. Or downwind rather in the tunnel. So, you know, who the freak is going to go in? Are they going to take the homeless out of New York? If Bloomberg was still mayor of New York, he'd be sending the homeless down there to New Mexico. Get their fucking food stamps. We'll give them extra one. GMO. You can only get the GMO. By the way, you don't know what I'm talking about. GMO is really bad for you. Uh, it has no nutrients in it. You'll see one of the first links below about that. Natural News Link. It's a really good one. He covered it really well. Plus, he's got the laboratories. He's backing it up. Uh, they can sue him if they want to now. He's really slandered them. But he's got the equipment, right? He called him out. He put his back to the wall for you. Support him, folks. That's putting your... Doing that, make no mistake about it, that's putting your back to the wall for humanity, for all life on the planet. That's extraordinarily courageous, okay? He built his own laboratories with his own multi-hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment through hard work and perseverance. And he got the equipment, he got the people, and he done the authentic studies. These are just good, but with the actual, they're not censored, right? Here's our results. Gotta like it. How can you not like that? And if you go over to his site and you type in Fukushima, you'll find out that he's dead on, right? That he doesn't pull any punches and that he is out there swinging, okay? And that's something about Mike. I knew Mike a long time now. I always admired him. And he just keeps getting more incredible. Literally. He's just a nice person. He always has been. Okay. Nothing's going to change about that. Um, so i got a couple more headlines. Official back threat on threat to public from WIPP leak. Well, they didn't go down in the leak. They didn't go down in the tunnel. They just backed off. Oh. And all the detectors stations around America went down at the same time. Not uh, not accidentally. You know, it doesn't get any more blatant than that. And then they got family down there. And so News Channel 4 put out a friggin' air dispersal that's around a couple of hundred miles long. Full of bananas. And you got to realize, friggin' bananas. You can't trust a fucking banana, okay? And so I'm going to show you how to kill a banana properly. Yeah, you little fucker. You're getting it tonight. Tonight we're going to get the truth out of the bananas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you ancient technology, my friends. You know what that is? That's banana trouble. That's what that is. See this here banana? Don't get lippy with me, buddy. We're going to... There's an ancient technique where if you've got a banana and you got to do it really slow. Yeah, bitch, take that. Oh. Oh, don't, Dana, no. Not in that spot, Dana. Because there's eight spots on a banana, and if you can put a pin in each one of them, you could actually kill the potassium-40, the radioactive carcinogenic, according to uh, lawyers, potassium-40. You can actually kill it. So... Uh, no, Dana, no. I'll get him a couple more in a few minutes. He's in a lot of trouble. He's in a lot of pain there now, ain't you? Ain't you, little bastard? No, Zoe, I'm sorry. Don't go out. I got to watch what I'm doing here. My dog will lose it. Now, I'm pretty sure population centers are safe. <laughs> I'm Gomer Pyle. <laughs> no, there's no radiation. I went out there with a stick and dug around in the ground. I didn't see fucking radiation anywhere. Groups calling for outside help. The whole place is inundated with scientists. 
with EPA, with Secret Service. They're afraid Al Qaeda's gone down there with shovels and buckets trying to build a dirty bomb. Gonna get all that radiation, scrape it up with a stick. Gomer's gonna show him where his toe. There's fear in the Texas panhandle. <laughs> that was probably my video the other day for just putting it there along with the same labels. Because think about that plume and spin that plume, put it on like a pendulum, spin it right around 360 like a clock handle, right? You know, from deer to... And so <laughs> it's pretty funny how they done that. Because the winds will go out and then it'll disperse, right? And come back and land on itself. And so there's radioactive particulates not only from everything else, and there's a lot there already from uh, Fukushima because the entire northern hemisphere got buried. And I'll be back to Fukushima regularly. I just needed to get out and get one more kick at the can on this one. Materials could could have been pushed in this direction, is what they were saying today, March the 1st, about Texas. They're worried. And they got every right to be worried because, uh, let me go back and remind everybody, that the lawyers are out there saying that if you're further away, you get less, but the winds will carry it. So if the winds can carry it around the planet 30 times, and you breathe it in, you still get the same cancer as if you were right alongside of it, and you breathe it in a million years from now. You still get the same dose. It doesn't lose any strength to uranium-238 for 4.5 billion years. But, see, and that's how I made that couple of paragraphs let me see if you get this straight. You would get more radiation if you were closer to man-made radioactive contaminated areas and less if you were further away routine because it doesn't matter where it's told. You'll get the same dose. Uh, you would get more radiation if you were on a plane with a smoke detector at 50,000 feet getting a CAT scan and a dental x-ray because that's what they always equate it. Because a CAT scan, you're not ingesting a radioactive hot particle. You walk away from the CAT scan. It's irrelevant. Right? Yeah, you got a little bit of radiation, like normal, insignificant background radiation. You know, it's insignificant. When you ingest it, it doesn't leave you. Right? It sequesters in your organs, and your muscles, and your bones, and your teeth, and particularly your children, bones, and teeth, and leukemias. Um, and there's a lot of it. it. Because why do you think they put this thing half a mile under the surface? Why do you think they were shipping everything to New Mexico before they could even get the permits? Because the shit they already had was going to rupture. And they wanted to get it into somewhere. And seal it in and just keep on going. Like they weren't going to put shit in there because they had a license for 10,000 years. But they weren't going to be putting shit in there for 10,000 years. The place was almost full. Right? They had a specific amount of really nasty shit. Real bad shit. That they had to get rid of. And like the New York Times article. The last time we were talking. That I covered. Was how the barrels. And cardboard boxes of shit. But the barrels. Will have sludge in it. And sludge of course. Is like. You stick your arm in the barrel. You're not getting it back. You're going to lose it that day. For sure anyway. You wish you did. You'll lose it the next day. If you get your arm out of the barrel, because it'll, well, you won't be alive. You stick your arm down in the barrel, that stuff, and move it around, you're finished. You might get 15 feet or something. But these are lawyers, right? They lie about, oh, well, there's natural radon set off the detectors down there. Wait well, hey now, man, you got a place full of uranium 238, americium from the chain reaction, plutonium, neptunium, the cesium, strontiums. Radioactive isotopes escaping from there all the time. It's in a fucking tunnel. You can't avoid it. Right? That's right. So you lie to your employees, or you just don't tell them jack. It really truly is like that. There's no such thing as a safe. You can't contain it. There's not a university on the planet that can contain it. That has built a sarcophagus that can contain it. But they're putting the waste down there that are not in sarcophagus. Okay? There's some fucking barrels that rust out in no time. In a couple of years at best. They've been putting it down there for 15 years. A few barrels blew up. And now everything down there. Is, that's why they can't get back in there. 
Hey, there's a fucking truck fire. Did you see the shit coming out of there in Mama Knox video? Go back to my two minute video on this that I started in the last few days and you'll see the link to that. And go and look at that. That's not the truck fire, see? They said it was a truck fire and nobody went back in there. So that tells me something else went on down there. Who fucking knows? Probably a false flag. This is what they do for a living, okay? They destroy things, including their own country. They're desperate to destroy America at this stage. Or maybe this is what they're going to do. They showed you that big plume on News Channel 4, right? It's almost up to Oklahoma, which is making dirty bombs, right? Oklahoma, McAllister, Oklahoma. That's all they do is they make dirty bombs with uranium-238. And if a terrorist took one of them and blew it up somewhere... They'd be pretty friggin' happy as long as it didn't connect back to them. But if the terrorists were, which is they're telling you all the time, they're going to come over with a dirty bomb, that's what those bullets are. They're solid uranium-238. They're not tipped. They're not coated. They're the shit they're supposed to have in those salt flats at New Mexico. But they turned it into bullets just a couple of hundred miles away. A couple of hundred miles away, we put it in fucking bullets. They're probably down there celebrating because they're all going to have to get rid of the extra waste now. They're planning another war now because they can't use it to stick it in the ground anymore. They're going to go fire it in poor people's countries. So rocks with potassium-40. If you drink, you know, because they always refer to, oh, it's like the 99, you know, water has 9,000 becquels of potassium-40 in it. But when you drink it, you off gas 9,000 becquels. But if that was 9,000 becquels of... The uranium-238, we wouldn't have to listen to their shit anymore, would we? Or, you know, if the bathtub is full of uranium-238 from those tunnels instead of natural uranium-238 of salt water, think about that one, right? They, they always say, oh, well, the ocean got salt water on it. There's enough there in uh, San Francisco Bay to make five atomic fucking bombs, Dana. I've actually had them do that to me. Well, if I took a bad tub of San Francisco water and filtered it for all the feces and piss and everything else, and the pharmaceutical uh, disposal from the local factories and all that other stuff, and, and took a bad in it, I'd probably be pretty nervous, but I'd be okay and I wouldn't be getting any cancer. I don't think from all the shit that's coming out of all the factories. <laughs> but the uranium-238, if I went out in this ocean and I dove in it for 14 years, that that's the uranium-238 you're talking about. I'm not going to get no cancer. But if I took a bathtub of that every day, I'm not going to get cancer. If I took a bathtub of that and put the uranium-238 that they're saying... Uh, they put down in those places, the sludge or any of that, yeah, it wouldn't make it into the friggin' bathroom. It's that toxic. It would melt your organs, right? This is These are unimaginable particles escaping into the environment. This is unimaginable stuff, folks. And the universities don't even try to build that. They create an army of people to lie about it, to equate potassium-40, to equate... Uh, natural uranium-238 with uh, uranium-238 left over from nuclear fission, which are completely different, right? There's natural uranium-235 in the ocean, but if you drink 9,000 becquels of uranium-235, you fucking know it, okay? Because you'd be on your way to the hospital, scared shitless while you're puking and shitting out your internal organs because they melted. You know, you can take, you can fill them up with bananas. Can't hurt you. You're not going to get cancer from it. Well, if they fall on you, they hurt you. But if you got a piece of the, a chunk out of those tanks down there, the size of banana, that's enough to kill everybody on the planet. If it was to be in the right position. There's enough radioactive material in a Dixie cup to kill everybody in a restaurant. Every hour, on the hour, for 4.5 billion years, uranium-238 is contaminated with neptunium, with americium, with 
plutonium, which uh, also has uranium-234, 235s, you know, left over from the production of chain reaction. That's what that's what goes into these places is the fuck ups, right? That we don't get to hear about, but we know about. And when you put all this stuff, because they didn't know what they were doing, look at what happened to Russia. They figured that one out after. And that's what that lady was talking about at the beginning of the video tonight of the tanks exploding because you got all this stuff mixing together. Well, that's what's in those fucking barrels. You're not going to dump the barrel out on a table, hire a bunch of people to get there with instruments and sh shift through it. Right? You can't build anything to protect them and do that job. There's nothing out there you can build to protect them. Right, that's why they're trying to get Yukon Mountain. But Yukon Mountain actually has a 20-year history of 620 uh, serious earthquakes. Right, that are an issue, big enough to be, uh, or bigger than uh, what they're telling you. But the studies have shown that. So that's a fable, that's never going to happen. But it's okay, because they got to do the study, they start it, they're going to dump all that money into the here, dump all the money out in the Sierra, Dump all the money over in Hanford. And as soon as you have an accident, you can't go into that facility again. So you spend billions of dollars on a facility, have a little accident, now you got to go build another facility. So it's in your best interest as a construction company to have a little accident. Right? Because when the valves breaks and everything else, you can't get back in there and fix it. In the processing plants. They have never decommissioned a nuclear site. Ever. Period can't be done. Look at Sellafield. 8 million liters a day for the last couple of decades hemorrhaging out into the ocean. Two weeks ago they had an alert down there and they came out and said, oh no, it was natural rayon on the beaches. You can't make this stuff up if you tried. Fukushima has three melted cores. The air dispersal and the ocean both come straight over to America. How long does it take for the ocean to get here? Well, the currents can move up to 9 kilometers an hour. If they're moving at a mile an hour, 5,500 miles, it's 227 days. If it's only a mile an hour. But it moves up to up to like 6 miles an hour, 9 kilometers or whatever. But the jet stream, and we got the documented showing that it went uh, 5 miles up from Japanese studies originally. It didn't stop hemorrhaging out of there. Still hemorrhaging out of there. 1,080 days later, over almost three years later, still hemorrhaging out of there. We're into the month now. We're only 10 days away. I guess I better do the doozy for the 10th, for the May, uh, March 11th. Okay, well, there you go on that one. I'll finish the documentary for sure before March 11th. I'll get it up before March 11th anniversary. And that way it can be out there. And let's see the narratives that show up after that one. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Because I can't remember how many is going to be in it. There's, I say there's around 700 headlines. They're just the cream of the crop, though. They're all just the mainstream, the, the, the local media way back when. Remember, the tsunami buried all of this stuff. And so we didn't know about it. Right? E and E news is like a it's really good. It's really good what they got over there, what they done, because they were on it. And the tsunami, all the tsunami overtook everything out there, right? Just a pity for that, because that was right. That was that was really hard. Um, did I forget anything? It doesn't look like it. We got a bit of a screaming demon there because I was working hard on the computer. Didn't have a chance to calm down. Then I had two videos left open on the desktop. I forgot about because I was trying to sit this down. So it's a lot of noise. So you won't, you know, if you can find any models of TV land, um, you know, for uh, dispersal models in America from accidents in America itself, where they actually use a dispersal model like Channel 4, and you'll find links on it in my last couple of videos to that video. And they actually saw a dispersal model. And that was to convince their loved ones. See, but you see two little bananas in it. Just the rudest, ignorant thing you can imagine. That's ignorance. Right? To put those two bananas in there. 
and and put that story out there. They shouldn't have used the two bananas, you know. It's pretty banana. But you get more radiation if you're on a plane with a smoke detector at 50,000 feet, getting a CAT scan and a dental x-ray, drinking a glass of water with 9,000 becquels of potassium-40 in it, and a bad tub of ocean water with natural uranium-238, and rocks releasing natural uranium-238, and other rocks with natural radon in them with the plane curtains up, eating a banana, and then you would if you were standing in the middle of any spot where man-made radioactive fallout ever fucking occurred. And even less if you're on a space station than you would get if you're stood in the middle of Fukushima, the Achi nuclear power plant, where there's a million sievers at the gates of number one. Right? You, unit number one. Three military units. Don't forget about the spent fuel pools blowing all over the site. All the neutrons and the x-rays and all those gammas and betas and alpha isotopes that are, you know, these are just exotic. All these isotopes I'm a bit loud, I know. All these isotopes are for directed energy weapon. They got nothing to do with making power. They don't need that shit to make power, okay? They're 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 creating these concoctions of mox fuel and everything else for directed energy weapons. To make the biggest, baddest lasers. And to kill all life on Earth. Fukushima is gonna kill the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty well think about the Pacific, right? Just unbelievable what they got done to it now. It's unbelievable that tens of thousands of miles of clouds every day are radioactive. Thank goodness for weather control. Keep that shit out there. Everybody's like, what? Go look at all of them, folks. It's all real. And if you do, and if you do get radiation follow, all you got to do is smile. All you got to do is smile, because, did I get that right? But if you go ahead and check, anyway, and go look up all that stuff, you find out they're all friggin' lawyers. That that got nothing to do with it. That that's in a fabrication. It's a, but they're professionals. They're scientists. They're academics. They're universities. What's going on here? Why ain't anybody asking questions? The media lets them say it. Don't even hold them accountable. What's going on? That's another video. Obviously something. So why do they got to hide it so desperate? Why do they got to run away like chicken necks? It's going to be hard to see because he's yellow. <laughs> it's three. I've been practicing on bananas all day and this is the last one. They all died. Stay still. Ugh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Dana. Just a little banana, Dana. Why do you hate me so much, Dana? Well, no, I'm trying to exercise the lobbyists out of you. Ah! Dana, no. No more Dana, please. No more fucking needles. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I don't want to do it either, man. I don't want to do it, man. I don't. No, Dana, we can be friends, Dana. Ah! Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, Dana, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Shouldn't I see you like a Catholic priest and get an exorcism and take the rest of the stand of me? No, I gotta kill you. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Let's get it over with. I know. It's okay. Take one for the team. Ah, Dana, no. I got little bananas, Dana. I got to... Who's gonna take care of the little bananas? I'm making banana cake tomorrow, buddy. Ow! Now he's actually just a harmless little banana and he can't hurt anybody. Yeah, well, see, another banana, another day. That's how we roll around here. We take down the big ones. We don't shy away from the hard chores and duties, or civil duties to take out the bananas. All bananas are a threat, an immediate threat, according to all the nuclear apologists on the planet, because... Yeah, you know, you might eat a banana and off-gas the same amount of potassium-40 because your body can only hold so much. But look at the carnage that they create if they get in power. Yeah. Yeah, Dana. I told you I had no pity when it comes to bananas. 
Because bananas don't make the calls on earth. Kind of lost it at the time, but anyway. Make them in the show, everybody. And I should declare I got um, no monetary interest in bananas. Not being paid by banana lobbyists. I do not own any shares of banana stocks. I'm just an advocate for bananas. And every once in a while, you got to exercise them. Well, I can still use them for cooking. I can still eat the banana. He died an honorable death, right? I got rid of, I actually exercised, exorcism the, the potassium 40 out of the banana. And it was wonderful. Can't hurt you. It's a good thing to do once in a while. And no bananas were hurt in the production of this film. Let me say good night to everybody. Let me give you a, oh, we're up to an hour and four minutes. Well, let me give you another headline before I go anywhere. Better be a doozy, Dana. You're going to make me fucking sit here, Dana. You better give us a good friggin' headline. Right. Well, let me see what I got here. <clears throat> Let's go look at Japan. Let's run through eight quick headlines and I'll say goodnight to everybody. So we're over an hour. That's okay. A little goofy sometimes. 75 miles from Fukushima plant, half a million becquels a kilogram of cesium. This is radioactive material. June the 1st, 2011. 180 kilometers away, you can't eat anything. That's Japan. 100,000 becquels coming out of the per kilogram of incinerator dust. Right? So the incinerator is blowing this up and that's getting spread all over the communities. 100,000 becquels. 11 becquels will cause uh, damage to children of uh, radioactive materials. And 50 becquels will cause permanent damage to their organs living in that environment. And so the dust coming out and settling over the communities means that that country is finished. Okay, let me finish a couple more. 400 kilometers from Fukushima, 40 billion becquels a kilogram. Right? That's west. So uh, the winds, prevailing winds in Japan are from the west. And so from Fukushima all the way against prevailing winds, 400 kilometers, 40 billion becquels a kilogram. That's crazy stuff on the side of the road. And they figured that's from the spent fuel rods. Well, you got to realize the stuff they got down there in New Mexico. Intelligent agency was pressured, had pressured researchers to withhold info on the spread of Fukushima radiation. That was October 3rd, 2012. That was the government. Uh, kids rolling in the dirt at the nursery schools. They kept that silent. Australia broke that one. There was 5,000 nuclear plant workers suffering internal radiation exposure after visiting Fukushima May 22nd, 2011. Right? That was five weeks after. Right? So all 139 that we know about at the... At the reprocessing facility like they give them these great grand names when it's to, to run the fuck away facility right they can't no one going back down in that hole there's no one going down there and putting that fucking fire out there's no there's no backup plan of cameras down there and they're going to turn the fire hoses on look at everything where the fuck did all that shit go to how come we don't see any of that crap you're going to tell me they got all that stuff down there they got no fucking cameras no lights down there and we're not supposed to worry about it. They're not showing us all this footage. Hey, look, it's all fucking fine. And they might roll out with that now. It's too friggin' late. We don't believe you anymore. We want to see you personally. And with Allison live streaming on fucking YouTube. You can use my account. You can get the cable guys to go down there early. And like the canary in a cage. And run some friggin' wires. So 5,000 workers in the first five weeks at Fukushima. You had these people there. We seen the black smoke. I used it in my video, that two-minute video, but five videos back about Fukushima. We'll call her a night. It was a long one. It's only early. But yeah, we'll be doing longer shows soon. Make sure I didn't. I got one more headline on my desktop here. 
Fox News anchor what a fantastical, incredible lie government told over Fukushima. If now reached the shores of North America, we knew and simply could not probe it. You lying dirtbags! That's today's headline. The proof was there all along, buddy. All along. All the proof you ever wanted, we've covered it for 100 days. I can guarantee you there was no reason. If I could find it all by myself, what the fuck could a Fox studio do? They could have tore everybody's narrative to pieces. Anybody thinks that Fox News can't go out and work out potassium 40 got nothing to fucking do with this, but lets the apologists up there every friggin' day and all their media somewhere there's an apologist right saying oh it's like potassium 40 from a fucking banana or it's like potassium 40 from water it's like natural radon or they equate it with the x-ray got nothing to do with ingesting radioactive hot friggin particles and these people are criminals despicable creatures for even allowing that to happen yeah how did the bananas get into the tunnels of New Mexico is a very intriguing question. Nip killer. I re Ram. Patrick, good night, everybody. Fans filtration. Yeah, water, steam, nuclear atmosphere. Well, they, no, it's not water, but suppressing, right? They have gases they can use to suppress fire, but at least they can identify it, and they have. And that's why they're not showing you footage, because tunnels fill up, right? So if the tunnels fill up, none of the cameras work because the tunnels fill up. That's how that works, folks. Trust me. They're all lying. It's leeching out there. Starlight, thank you. Sylvia, thank you. Ken, Stetson, everybody. Grand Maya, Gro Goalie, Whimsical, okay. Patrick, Standing Foot, Pam, Marcus, Irina Rail, Lunar. We're on a little roll. Mickey, Starlight, Broken Ass Honor, Paul, Sylvia, Cats Alive, Sergeant Stetson. Hey, folks. Amthurst. Going a little fast on everybody's name that time. Double Hoop Nation. Yeah, let me. Candace. Did I forget anybody? Because I don't get all the comments inside here. Starlight, we got you again. Kent. Uh, I don't get many comments right here, so I just scroll through and say hi to everybody. Missing Sky, anybody I see there, I'm just randomly yanking it down. The radioactive bananas, everybody will come in and read your comments after. One hour and 12 minutes, that was a long stream for a late stream on top of that. But I'll probably be doing streams early in the mornings coming up soon and everything else. Just because of other things going on, the stream has to go on, so we don't know if it's going to be night or day or just random. But I like doing shows around 7 8 at night. I think that's a good time, but I also plan on doing a lot more on certain subjects. We won't have all this friggin' noise in the background. That's my fault for holding that dear. Um, and so you got to peel the banana, just to make sure everybody got that straight. you got to peel the banana right so be really freaking careful and then you can pull the pins out right yeah I like that I like a fucking banana like a banana your banana I'm banana the people that are out there that are paid to get up say it's like a banana they're freaking bananas the media that don't challenge them they're freaking bananas because they lost all credibility by not doing that. So every one of those people who sat there and done the interview with a nuclear apologist and didn't hold them to account, didn't say, hey, you know, come on, then um, they're traitors and they're discredited, right? So in the future, go back to their footage and if you catch them talking, other guys on their show that they're putting out their time with bananas, they're discredited. You can't trust anything they said. They're all bananas. The goddamn this thing. Okay, folks. Hour and 12 minutes. Man, sometimes I won't shut up. So, okay. We'll catch.